Hey, welcome to the new Let's Play series on Variety Fridays. We're going to be doing Wario Land, aka Super Mario Land 3, for the Game Boy. Uh, this is a game that I've played over and over since I was a little kid, uh, and I really love it. Um, it's silly, it's goofy, uh, and it's actually a little challenging here and there. Um, I'm going to start by adjusting my microphone, because I notice that I'm getting a lot more input than I want. So this should balance out the volume just a little bit. There, I think I'm satisfied with that. So let's start this game. Um, I'm going to take a minute right at the beginning here, and let's appreciate the opening for what it is, because it's really silly. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. I've got an old save file on here. I'm actually going to clear out so I can show you how clearing saves works. You got to go over to the pipe over there and you got to push, is it A and over to get onto this pipe. It really makes you be super sure that you want to clear a file. Okay, let's start. Here's the first area, Rice Beach. Now this isn't a game that I play particularly fast, unlike Kirby's Dreamland. Uh, I kind of take my time on this one. So the first mechanic, uh, that was the tackle. When you tackle an enemy, you gain a coin and a heart. These boxes that are like question boxes in Mario, but we have the questions here because they're eyeballs for some reason. Um, they can contain uh, a few things. The one that the I just hit was a heart, and that gives me 10 hearts. That one's a coin, gives me one coin. When you get 100 hearts total, you get a 1-up. You can also pick up enemies after you stun them, throw them at other enemies, and they get knocked out. You don't get coins that way, but you can take care of pesky enemies with weapons or whatever have you. Okay, now here's a power-up. Um, this one is the... I forget if it's garlic or onion, but it will change you into... The form that I'm in now is Big Wario. It'll change you into that, or if you're already Big Wario, it'll change you into Bull Wario. Bull Wario has the same tackle, although it runs farther. And Bulwario also has a stomp attack that can break blocks and stun enemies and knock out enemies. Bulwario has one more ability. Oh, the ceiling's too high there. Let me find a lower ceiling. He can, if you hold the up button, stick to ceilings. Now, whenever I've taken a path like this, I like to double back and just make sure I didn't miss anything up above or down below. When there's boxes on the ground, you can tackle them to open them. You can also throw enemies into hazards, which I did not do a good job of there, to kill them. And they'll give you a heart when you do that, but no coin. Tackling is the only way to produce coins. If you hit a power-up hat that you already have on, you get 10 hearts. <clears throat> Excuse me, 10 hearts instead. There's a hidden block here that lets us jump up. 
if two enemies are touching while stunned, you can just touch them and they'll get knocked out rather than having to pick one up and throw it on the other. And down here is an area we can't access yet. Those crab claws down there will make short work of us, so we'll have to come back later. Your primary goal in this game, other than clearing the levels, is to get all the money that you can because Wario is greedy. Um, at the end of the game you're going to trade in your money for a house and you can get anything from a birdhouse all the way up to the actual moon. Game gives you a little tutorial here, it tells you to hold up and push B to pull out 10 coins which you can then throw and that opens those skull and crossbone doors which is the end of the level. After each level you're presented uh, the clear games. Uh, you can play a coin game or a heart game. I don't usually do this. Um, the heart game's not worth it and the coin game is gambling. But just in the spirit of showing what they are, you pick a bucket. And if you're lucky you get a bag of money, which doubles your coins. Let's try the other bucket. We'll do this three times. So far, so good. And let's do the second bucket a second time. Okay, we got very lucky this time around. Um, if you pick the wrong bucket, you get a big weight, like 10 tons dropped on your head, and it just cuts your coins in half, your current coins. Coins on hand, whatever. And then at the end of the level, you put your coins into your stash, which can take a little while if there's a large total. And you see your updated total, Wario has a little snicker. And uh, those numbers, or excuse me, numbers, letters, I'm getting tired. The letters are for actual treasures that we will find as we go through the levels. Numbers A through O, yeah, that made a lot of sense. <laughs> All right, here we are in course number two. Another 10 hearts and break that guy, or stomp that guy, stomp that one. Ooh, I thought he was gonna hit me. That's pretty lucky. You can also hold the up button when you throw for a arcing throw. That was almost awesome. I'm gonna try that one more time. Nope, not worth it. I'm gonna go back because I really want to get in that door up there. I forget what's inside. Boy, I sure hated these platforms when I was a kid. The ones that come in and out like that. Okay, so in here we've got our next power up. Now if I hit these guys on the floor, they spring me up. Can you see those spikes up ahead? That could be a problem. Oh, tackling actually works. I did not know that, to be honest. But let's show off this power-up. This is the dragon hat. Instead of tackling, now when we use B Wario, shoots fire. Can't hit that blob, or this one, but I can start my fire hit that other ceiling enemy. This works underwater too, which is nice. For these guys, you can just bounce them off your head for a KO. Or hit them with the fire. It's about the same. And finally, if you land on an enemy underwater, it'll get knocked out. Let's go back to the bull hat. This here is a partway point. So if you go up in B, you grab the coin, uh, that's 10 coins worth of what you have on hand, so you can only do that if you have 10 or more coins. If you throw it into this, it activates. Now if I lose a life, I'll start here instead of the beginning of the level. I'm not going to demonstrate that though, because I don't plan to lose a life. And again, a little bit of backtrack. Especially because here... 
Man, that guy always messes with me. You're supposed to be able to hit them from below. Anyway, back here we have a power-up that I hope I can still get. I might have lost my ability to grab that power-up because it's in this box. <laughs> and small Wario cannot tackle. Yeah, I'm going to have to find a power-up and come back for it. Oh, here we go. It's the dragon hat again. If you pick up specifically a bull dragon or the third hat, um, even if you're a little Wario, you'll be transformed directly. The dragon hat is very noisy. So what's the third hat? It's a jet hat. This lets you fly. For a little while. Speaking of, if I jump up here and fly, there's a secret. Hmm, I think I want to stage at Wario for a bit. Hmm, trying to line this up. Oh, too late. If you manage to get an enemy under one of these swamps, uh, when it comes down, they will turn into 10 coins. Okay, I gotta time this right. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could just, uh, fly across as Jet Wario. And over here, some hearts for my trouble. Now to see what all I missed down below by skipping all of that. Okay. Ah, I was going to get him from below. But I took an unexpected hit. Sound effect means we're under 100 seconds remaining. Anyway, for those who watched uh, last Friday, Kirby's Dream Land, I'm not as good at this game as I am at Kirby's. <laughs> I know my way through. I can get through the whole game without much issue, but I do lose a life here and there. I do take hits here and there. That's one thing that I liked a little bit more about later Wario games is uh, Wario Land 2 and beyond. Wario is actually invincible. He just takes hits that set him back and it turns into more of a puzzle game. But in this one, you actually have a life count. Okay, so let's see the heart game. Um, we're going to do the B course just so I get the most bang for my book, so to speak. In this one, we're going to be throwing bombs uh, at enemies that are going by uh, shooting gallery style. Okay, my timing was poor. Oh boy. I think I need to wait until he's off screen and comes back. All right, that's the trick. Now each tier of course in this mini game gets a little harder. I missed that one, that's okay. But the prizes get better too. So we get 70 hearts and that gives us 90 total. 10 away from a 1-up. 
I don't think this game's worth it because lives and hearts are not hard to come by and it's much better to have the coins at the end of the game to get a better house. So this level, the dot has a little circle in the middle of it, right here. That means there's two exits. Right now we can only take one of them. Uh, something's going to happen later that we can come back and get the other exit. Okay, so this level has quicksand, which is like water, but instead of sinking slowly, you sink quickly, and you have to jump very repeatedly to get out of it. skipped right past a secret. Did you see it? Right here. I like to use the dragon hat there uh, because it clears the blocks more quickly and then come back for the bull power up. With the bull, I'd have to tackle each uh, column of blocks one by one. Whereas the dragon can chew through a bunch at a time with his fire. And then over here, let's see what we missed by skipping over all that. We missed quite a bit. There we go. This door and this door are connected. Uh, it's just a save point in there, so I'm not too interested. Don't think there's anything up there. Nope. There we go. There's really no point in clearing out those blocks. I just think it's kind of fun. What good is a video game if you don't have fun with it, right? Hmm. Okay, similarly to earlier, these ones uh, don't have a bottom on the screen, so we can go through them. And I know if I go through this one, it'll land me here. We can't get back out the way we came in. So we gotta go over this way. And up the ladder. Which takes us back to where we were. Whoops, I accidentally pressed the up button again. There's definitely some strange, almost glitchy things you can do like that where I just killed that enemy by being under a box. Uh, I think it's if the game memory gets overloaded or confused, it just takes the easy way out and kills the enemy. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the programming or anything. So that top route up there that's open, you can actually go that way later on to get to the alternate exit. But for now, we have to take this one. There's no wall jumping in this game, so we can't do any fancy tricks to get up there. So starting from now on, I'm going to be skipping these games, since we've seen them both. And I prefer not to gamble, I'd like to hang on to my coins, thank you. Another uh, interesting little tidbit is the more times you see that course clear screen, the quicker Wario walks around it. So it won't always be so painfully slow. Now this level really puts us on the clock because we got that thwomp chasing us. So we want to get through here as quick as we can. Now with Bull Wario we have enough time to grab this box. 
If we were just Big Wario or Jet Wario, uh, you would have to hit those blocks twice each. They would crack and then break. But Bull Wario does it in one hit. So if you're going to do this level, you got to come in with a good power-up. we got to wait for the Thwomp so we can get across the hot lava down there below. I like to play this level very safe. I'll get some coins. But whenever I can, I'll stand on top of these boxes and avoid those bats. Oh, my controller's uh, a little bit tickly there. Oops, didn't duck in time. That's okay. We get a uh, onion garlic power up there. Now we gotta really mash the B button to tackle as quick as we can. Okay, we made it. Let's wait for the thwomp to go past. I can get these last 10 hearts. And okay, dude, see you later. All right, here's an example of what I was talking about earlier. They turn into 10 coins if you get the thwomp to fall on them. Like so. Oh, nope, that was a miss. Try that again. There we go. Oh, this door's open for us. Very nice. It might not seem like much, but he's already going a little faster. When I was a kid playing this game, I thought that he would go even faster if you went through as Jet Wario, because Jet Wario walks a little more quickly. I don't know if that's true or not. I love the sound effects on the Game Boy. The way those little pirates laugh. The waka 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 waka. Here's a spot that always messed with me as a kid, because I didn't have the patience to time my tackles correctly. This next one also messed with me when I was younger, because I wanted to get all nine coins, and I didn't know or have the patience to do a light tap of the button to jump just a little. And so I'd always end up uh, getting hit by the thwomp. Oh, accidentally stuck to the ceiling. Yeah, when I press left, I'm getting some incorrect register of the up button every now and then. I don't think it's a problem. I just have to be aware of it and press the button carefully. Huh, now how do you suppose we get those three hearts? Secret door! A very impressive sound effect. And here comes our first boss fight.
Oh no. Okay, I played that very poorly. <sighs> I usually uh, have no problem with that guy, so um, I didn't put a coin in the continue spot, and I totally should have. That was smooth. If you want to get the timing of those down, a good thing to do is watch for when the Thwomp's face frowns. And then, when he frowns, throw your enemy, and it should go right under him. Trying to create a favorable jump condition for me there. Okay, this time, lesson learned, we'll activate the halfway point just in case. There's one up. Apologies for having to sit through this level again, but I do want to collect the goodies. The hearts and coins and whatnot. Okay, let's do this more carefully this time. Oh my goodness. All right, this is embarrassing. <laughs> But hey, we don't have to go through the whole thing this time. But we don't have all the coins that we gathered either, which is a bummer. So I think it's time to show you this game's one and only cheat code. Pause the game with start. Press select 16 times. No, I am not joking. 16 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You get a cursor. And uh, if you press A and hold A, I think it is. No, it's B. B. You can move the cursor around and move your numbers up and down. So you can give yourself 99 lives, 999 coins. I want to say we got about 40 last time, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, you can give yourself a whole bunch of time. Um, and then to get over to the Wario face icon, I think it was... Nope, not select. Okay, you can only do it once per pause. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, maybe it was hold A, or is it hold B and A? Yeah, hold B and A and go over to Wario. You can't get off of him when you do that, but you'll get the next level of hat, which the order goes small Wario, big Wario, bull, jet, dragon.
So let's take the dragon hat into this guy just for fun. Okay, I guess Dragon Hat doesn't affect him. And yes, you can even do this in the middle of boss fights. And when you finish off a boss, Coins start raining down, so head to the middle and get ready to grab your loot. Oh, I just bumped the desk. Hopefully that wasn't too loud on my microphone. Man, that boss really kicked my butt. Uh, not sure what was going on tonight. But in the sake of, you know, just finishing the video, I don't feel too bad using that cheat code. And uh, it's educational, right? I showed you guys what to do. So here's a fun thing. Once you've beaten that first area, Rice Beach, you had to mount Teapot. But you're going to want to go back right away. Because Rice Beach has flooded. The tide has come in. This changes... Uh, courses 1 and 3. You can't tackle underwater, so it's hard to open these boxes now. You need either Jet Wario or Dragon Wario. Um, Jet Wario can tackle underwater, um, but Bull Wario's stomp attack does not open those boxes. And it won't be too important in this course, but in number three, there's a box that we absolutely have to open that's underwater. Is it this one? No, not this one. Oh, I got 100 hearts with that KO. Or reached 100 hearts, I should say. Got my one up. Okay, full Wario. Now remember the first time we came through there was that area with the crab claw things? Well, now it's flooded, so we can swim through. <laughs> and I can still mess up despite that. That's okay, there's a dragon hat waiting for us here. and a really big eyeball box. This one has a very large heart, which gives us three up. So three more lives. That's really all we need to do here. So I'm just gonna kind of rush to the end of the level now. They no longer give you a free exit, you gotta actually defeat that pirate, throw a coin in. Ten coins, I should say. Eventually we'll get to the point where he reaches the goal before that little ditty even finishes. Two stages left to look at. And uh, this one here actually does not have any change. It's just this one. Ooh, what's that? Well, that is a door to a treasure chamber. But we gotta find the key. 
Now this was quicksand earlier, now it's water, which is much nicer. And hey look, there's a key. Let's try it out. I'll keep that dragon hat there in case I need to come back for it. So fun fact, I think little Wario is the only one who cannot open these boxes. You have to hit them. In Dragon Wario's case with fire. And then you collect the treasure. Just like that. And there's our first treasure, treasure A. One down and 14 to go. At the end of the game, you sell off all those treasures, just for money towards your house, or living arrangement, since some of them are not livable, like the birdhouse, and some of them are ridiculous, like the moon. I wouldn't call a castle a house, but you can get a castle. A couple different sizes of castle, actually as lower tiers just below the moon. cruise through to the end of the level, because that treasure was really the only thing that we needed, except we're not taking the same exit as before. We're going to take that extra exit now, up here. This was that higher course that we couldn't reach before. And when you get an alternate exit, much like in Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, uh, you get a different path to another course. Now this course is just fun. It's just a quick straight path, lots of coins, and some hearts. See that thing shaking under the ground? That's a crab. I'm gonna stomp, which brings it up, and I have to tackle it right away because it'll run away quickly. Uh, and it carries 10 coins, plus for tackling it, you get the normal coin. So you get 11 coins off of these guys and a heart. Just like so. And then there's some invisible boxes to get. If you wait too long, they run away. But don't worry, if you go a little ways off screen, they'll respawn. But once you tackle them, they no longer respawn. So it's not unlimited coins. That's what the start and select 16 times cheat code is for. If you really must have infinite coins, that's the way to do it. Let's get 999 coins before the end of every level. So all told, there are 101 coins in this course, minus 10 to open the door. There you go. Course number six, kind of a bonus level. Okay, well, this is where we're gonna end things. That's all there is to see on Rice Beach. Uh, next Friday, we'll do this again, uh, and we will see what's going on with Mount Teapot. Uh, and don't forget, in the meantime, we're going to have an episode of Let's Play Chrono Cross on Monday. So, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some more content. Uh, leave me a comment letting me know what was your favorite course. Um, did I miss anything? Are there other interesting secrets about Wario Land? Or what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I don't know. Any comment's a good comment. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.